On to question number 141. A farmer bought 749 sheep. He sold 700 of them for the price he paid for the 749 sheep. Okay. The remaining 49 sheep was also sold at the same price per head as the other 700. Based on the cost, the percentage gain on the entire transaction is what? Now, 700 of them were sold at a certain price. Let us say the selling price over here is rupees 1 per sheep. Right, selling price one rupees one per sheep. Then seven hundred of them, right, were sold for seven hundred rupees. You got rupees seven hundred for seven hundred sheep. Right. Now what are we told initially? We sold seven hundred of them for the price paid for seven forty nine sheep. Right. So cost price what? It's the same as the seven hundred here, but for the total of seven forty nine sheep. Right. The, the price at which you sold them, that's 700 rupees, is what you ended up paying for 749 sheep, right? What else? Do you, you still have 49 more sheep, right? Uh, that's the remaining 49 sheep were sold at the same price per head. Price per head over here is 1 per sheep. So 49 of them were sold for rupees 49 itself. What is the total SP over here? Total selling price is this 700 plus 49, 749. Your cost price is 700. What's the percentage gain? The percentage gain or profit over here is nothing but 749 minus 700, that's 49, divided by the cost price 700 into 100%. Knock off the zeros, 49 by 7 is nothing but 7%. So the answer is option 3 here. On to question number 142, right? It seems like an easy one. Let's look at it. A merchant bought some goods at a discount of 20% of the, of the list price. He wants to mark them at such a price that he can give a discount of 20% of the mark price and still make a profit of 20% of the selling price. So we've got to be careful here. The percent of the list price of which he should mark them is what? The percentage of list price, right? A lot of list price, mark price and all of that. We clearly know that, you know, everything is in percentage terms. So we need to assume a value. What shall we take as the value? Let 100 rupees. Let 100 rupees be the list price, right? So let's say list price is how much is rupees 100. Now he had bought the goods at a discount of 20% of this. So purchase price is on a discount of 20% rupees 80. That's my actual cost price. He wants to mark them at such a price, right? Some mark price has to be there of which I'm giving a discount, right? So minus a discount. Mark price minus discount gives me selling price. How much of a discount I'm giving? One fifth, 20%, one fifth of mark price. If mark price is 5x, I'm subtracting an x and I'm getting 4x. It's to be viewed right to left, not left to right, right? So view it this way. 5x minus x is 4x. Why? Discount is 20% of the mark price. 20% is one fifth. This is 5x, one fifth of it x is discount, selling price is this. Now you still make a profit of 20% of the selling price. 20% of this is your profit. Right, what is profit over here? Cost price, let's write down profit over here. Cost price plus profit, CP plus profit equals SP. Right? CP is going to be 20% or one fifth of selling price. So let us say selling price is 5x, then your profit is going to be how much? Profit is going to be one fifth of that because profit in this case is 20% of the selling price, right? I'll use a different variable. Let's say profit selling price is 5y, then profit is going to be one fifth of it y, then cost price would have been 4y, only then 4y plus y is 5y, right? Cost price plus profit is selling price. I'm dealing with two sets of variables over here. Let's look at it. Now I know 4y is 80, then 1y is going to be 20 rupees, then 80 plus 20 is going to give me rupees, I'll just write down the symbol, uh, it's going to be 100. Now if 100 is 4x, then 1x is 25, 5x is rupees 125. Now the question is percentage of the list price of which he should mark them. Mark price is what percentage of the list price? 125 is what percentage of the list price divided by 100 MP by 
LP is what is asked 125 by 100 into 100 percent which pretty much comes to 125 percent itself so the answer is option 3 it's a very good question with a lot of play with words you've got to be careful with this yeah it's a very good practice question let's move to the next one now question 143 is a straightforward you know fixed cost plus variable cost and all of that but what we are given over here is the average expense per border right let's look at it total expense over here is partly fixed partly varying linearly with the number of borders let the number of borders be n right um, no that's given so 25 and 50 that you know we don't need the number of that what we don't know is the average cost or the fixed cost right so let's take them to be fixed and this is the variable cost per border right variable cost per border fixed cost plus 25 into variable cost equals total cost total cost what if the average is 700 for 25 then the total cost is 700 into 25 725 is a 175 175 double zero now when it were 50 borders f plus 50 v how much was it it was 600 into 50 that's 30,000 all right so if you subtract these two you're going to get 25 v equals difference between these two is 12,500 what we are asked is the average expense for 100 borders right it's just 100 borders is a simple thing so you don't need to find f and v think about it what is the total cost for 100 borders f plus 100 v that's the total cost if you want the average we want f plus 100 v divided by 100 number of borders that's the average cost for 100 borders right so if i know f plus 50 v and i know 25 v just look at this what is 50 v going to be equal to 25 v is this 50 v is twice of this which comes to 25000 now what is the sum of these two f plus 50 v and 50 v that is my f plus 100 v 30000 plus 25000 that is going to come to 55000 i'm skipping steps sum of these two is my numerator sum of these two 55000 is my numerator divide by 100 that comes to 550 rupees is the as the average expense per border option 1 is the answer here after allowing a discount of 11.11 percent right this is one of the earlier cat questions it's a good practice one whenever you're given something like this i've told you fractions to memorize it's one ninth 11.11 percent is one ninth um, the trader still makes a gain of 14.28 percent roughly one seventh uh, at how many percentage above the cost price does he mark on his goods we have a cp we have an sp and we have a mark price now if, if there's a gain of 14.285 price one person one seventh more than this let this be seven rupees one seventh of this is my profit right is my profit and it becomes eight rupees nice now what is this going to be one ninth discount if this were nine if i remove a discount of one i'm getting eight at all is, is is wonderfully perfect mark price just becomes nine think about it one ninth over here is my uh, discount on the mark price if my mark price was nine one ninth of nine one rupee remove that you get your eight rupees it's basically seven eight nine that's it right? it's a quick question you should mark these quickly at how many percentage above the cost price does he mark on his goods seven over that is two two rupees to bring it to nine rupees two by seven is the answer 1 by 7 is 14.2857, 2 by 7 is double of that, 28.57 or 56, right? So the closest over here is option 1. On to question 145, one of the earlier cat questions, most of you wouldn't have been born then. Instead of a meter scale, a cloth merchant uses a 120 centimeter scale while buying. What's a meter scale? 100 centimeters, right? We can just re replace this 120 centimeters with 1.2 meters. And 80 centimeters use an 80 centimeter scale while selling the same cloth 0.8 meters let's say now we offers a discount of 20 percent on cash payment okay what is this overall profit percentage clearly we're not given the cost price or selling price but it's understood to be the same right it's understood to be the same that's the only way in which you can solve it otherwise different people writing their exam can take different values cannot be determined is not given so let the stated 
cost price V equal to rupees 100 per meter. Yeah. What is the stated selling price? Rupees. There's a 20% discount on 100. 100 itself is supposed to be the mark price. The same price you're selling at, but with a 20% discount comes to rupees 80 per meter. Now you'll wonder why. Think about it. That's the only way you can do. There's no other profit percentage or anything given here. Right? Assume it to be zero. That's the only assumption. Entire two lakh people are writing it can be asked to come up with right two or three lakh people writing it. So now, um, what is the actual CP? This is what we have done right in the profit and loss lesson. This is the only way I know how to solve these questions, and that is all you need to use and nothing else. The actual cost price is what. I am not paying 100 for 1 meter, I am actually getting extra, I am getting 1.2 meters at the same 100 rupees and the actual selling price is 80 rupees but I am not getting 1 meter, I am getting, I am giving away less than it, 0.8 meters only. What is 80 by 0.8 rupees, 100 per meter and 100 by 1.2, I will keep it as it is. Now what is the profit person, that is all I need to find, right? So profit percent is nothing but SP by CP minus 1 and then into 100 percent I will do it in the end right you should remember this SP by CP is 1 plus profit percent subtract 1 profit percent yeah a percentage symbol you can always you know multiply with 100 percent in the end keep it as a fraction for now SP over here is 100 whole divided by 100 by 1.2 minus 1 100 by 1.2 reciprocal 100 into 1.2 by 100. Remember, this bottom part is the fraction, right? Top part is just 100, bottom is 100 by 1.2. If you had to write both as a fraction, it would have been like this, right? Don't make a mistake of 100 by 100, you know, that is going to be kept as it is in 1.2 and don't make a mistake over there. Just be careful, be wary of A by B divided by C by D, yeah? So now, minus 1 again, 100 gets cancelled, 1.2 minus 1 is 0.2. You want to convert it to percentage, just multiply it with 100%. At the last step, you can do that and you get the answer is option 1, 20%. And if you like this video, do hit the like button and do subscribe to this channel in case you haven't already. And do visit mockcat.com and get access to a lot of free resources. If you want to reach out to us, you can just uh, call us up and um, let us know and we'll look to connect with you as well. Right? So you all the best. Uh, continue watching the series.